Hello everyone and welcome to my beauty room. My name is Jasmine. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. Now as you can see behind me, I do have quite the extensive Disney collection, including ears, bags, pretty much everything. And my thought for this series is to do a Magical Monday where I do makeup inspired by some of these products. I basically pick an item, whether it be an ear, a bag, a shirt, uh, whatever I have, a mug, and I do makeup inspired by that item. So to start this series, the first one that I thought of was the original rose gold ears. Now for those of you who aren't regulars in the parks or don't follow along in the Disney merchandise, extremely closely. These ears were extremely hard to find at first. These are the original version. I think they're on their third or fourth version now. I think it's kind of the ear that started off the ear trend where Disney realized there's a lot of money in these, so let's get creative with them. And since then, since these ones, my ear collection has just boomed. So I hope you like this video and let's jump into the makeup. Now, as you can see, my base is finished. I'm going to be focusing more on the eyes and lips. And for the eyes today, I'm going to go in with the Huda, Huda Beauty Nude palette. It just has the pinks and the rose gold that I'm looking for for this look. Now for the transition, I'm going to go into Tickle and Secret. And I'm just going to mix those two together on a fluffy blending brush. Make sure the brush is coated and you top off the excess and just blend it along your crease. I did prime my eyes with just some concealer and some powder today. This eye look is going to be fairly neutral. I will just add a bit of glam onto the lid. And then I do like to take a blank blending brush and just go over that just so that way it doesn't have any product and it could do a more seamless blend. Next I'm going to take this more tapered brush and I'm going to go into Spanked with maybe a little bit of Love Bite but just not a lot. And I'm just going to tap it on the outer part of my eye and just tap it up and then blend it out. Now I'm curious, what do you guys think about the parks opening? I know Disneyland out here in California has been delayed, but Walt Disney World is open. I haven't heard much. I heard that guests were walking around with drinks and without a mask claiming that they were drinking their drink and I just don't think that's right so I know Disney changed the rules as far as that but do you really think that they should be open at this point? I mean I love Disneyland as much if not more than the next person but it just comes to a point where they just need to put safety before their pockets. Because ultimately, I know the argument is if you don't feel safe, don't go, but cast members and their employees don't necessarily have that choice. And so, I don't know, it just feels wrong. Even if the parks were open in California, I would definitely not be going. Especially because I do, uh, including this, I do online school 
and you know how online usually has those discussion boards they had a discussion board of introducing yourself and one was a cast member in florida and she was saying that cases are already starting to pop up between cast members which is unfortunate i hope they're all doing well I'm gonna go again with the empty blending brush and just smooth that out. Including underneath. And then I'm going to take a little bit of lace and just pick that up on this brush and just use that to kind of blend the two shade, the well, four shades together. Just taking it along the crease. And then just taking a small kind of flat brush and I'm going to go in with bare on the brow bone. I'm not feeling a super shimmery brow bone today. I will probably just keep it matte just because I am going to go pretty heavy on the shimmery eyes. Okay, now once you get the eyeshadow to a place that you're happy with, I'm going to take the Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Rose Gold Retro. And I'm going to take it on the inner corner, kind of up the eyelid a little bit into the crease because I have hooded eyes. I want to take it a little bit further up, up until about halfway of the eyelid. Now once you get the placement, my best method for blending this out is just my finger. I just take it and pat it along and then later, once it dries a little bit, I will take more of the eyeshadow to further blend it. And then do the same thing on the other eye. Then the same thing. The one thing is to make sure, especially if you don't necessarily have a lid and it all is kind of looks the same and you're drawing your own lid, uh, just make sure it's even, that you don't have one that's bigger than the other.
These are honestly my favorite thing to do this kind of cut crease just so that way you don't have to go in with the concealer and do all of that. And just the easiest way to get the most glitter and I love them. They do dry out fairly easily though, that's my only complaint about them. I'm gonna go take that spanked and that little bit of love bite again just to blend the outer corner with the shadow. More so spanked than love bite, love bite is a little dark than what I want this look to be. And then I'm going to highlight the inner corner and my cheekbones with the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Flash Palette. I'm probably going to take these bottom two shades primarily. And then I will take a small packing brush and go into the pink highlighting shade for the inner corner. And for the bottom lash line, I'm going to go into Tickle and Secret, the transition shades that we used earlier, on just a small brush. And just run that along the bottom. I don't like to take my lower lash eyeshadow all the way to the inner corner. I do like to keep it about halfway out. Just if you do it to the inner corner, it's going to make your eyes look smaller. And then for lips today, I'm going to go in with the Hank and Henry's lip liquid lipstick in the shade Petal Pusher. I really like this lip component, how it looks like a like a stick lipstick, but it's a liquid lipstick. Okay, just kidding. That was darker than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be more of a nude pink and it was dark, more of a like a pinkish red kind of color. And that's, it's pretty, but it's just not what I'm going for today. So instead, I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty uh, liquid lipstick and uncuffed. Okay, I will do my eyelashes off camera and I will be right back. Okay, this is the finished look. I'm really happy with it. It's just a really pretty 
classic look that I do on a regular basis. For lashes today, I used the Pure in collaboration with Raw Beauty Christy in the style Lovely. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed spending time with you. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you have a magical Monday. And I will see you soon. Bye.